It's been a dream season for the BSU women's tennis team, going 11-5 overall, which just so happened to set a program record, with a 6-5 record in NSIC play. Now the Beavers are heading back to the postseason for the first time in nearly a decade. When the BSU women's tennis team stepped off the court nine days ago with a 7-2 victory over Southwest Minnesota State, head coach Mark Fodness let out a sigh of relief. While many of the players had no idea, they just set the program wins record. We really did not know during the season. We didn't spend much time talking about it or thinking about it honestly. We knew we had to go out and play our best. And it was fun because everyone contributed to the point. We all afterwards were like, yes. I walked off the court and the first thing coach said to me, and he's just like, I can breathe now because we got our fifth win. <laughs> and I was like, perfect. It felt good to be that fifth win. The players are extremely happy about the new record. It's been a great, like, Long time coming, we started in the fall, we worked hard, we did this, we had four newcomers, six returning players, and it was just a perfect mix of girls to get it done. But it's even more satisfying for Fodness, who is in his fourth year with the program. We were 1-13 in 13 our first year, and uh, we did not have enough girls to field a team when I started, so it's really rewarding, especially I think for the girls to know what it you know, feels like to go out with a chance to win almost every match. And now the Beavers are heading back to the NSIC tournament for the first time since 2009. It's going to be a lot um, of new things, but we have a bunch of girls who are ready to go get it done, and we just know we're going to go out, play our best, and hope to get that first W. We're going to be underdogs, but uh, you know the pressure is kind of on the favored team. We are going to have to play our A game, not our B game, uh, not our C game, and we're all going to have to just be consistent throughout the entire lineup. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.